What's up guys? Welcome to day three of our Becoming a Better Hair Cutter in Seven Days Masterclass. Today we're going to switch things up. We're going to jump onto a computer screen, but I want to share with you guys all about face shapes and basically what haircuts fit the best on what face shapes and why. So the key face shapes that I really like to focus on are these oval, triangle, round, and square. If they have oval, it's kind of a green light. You can create almost any haircut on their face shape and it's going to look good. Uh, triangle, you're going to make some adjustments round and square also going to make some adjustments but just small adjustments i want you to understand that identifying what their face shape is helps you out in the process of figuring out the best haircut for your client but it doesn't mean that this is the end all be all that you have to do this exact thing to make your client's haircut look great. There are exceptions to every rule uh, and this is no different. So let's take a look at this first one. This is a round face. Um, it depends on the angle you're looking at it. When you look at it from the first angle, it kind of looks like it's more uh, oval or a longer face. But then when you look a little more straight on, you see that it definitely has a rounded shape, um, definitely a rounded jawline. Uh, what I love about this haircut, and this is something that you can put into place with all of your round face clients uh, is adding in a fringe not necessarily a short fringe but something that cuts off the roundness of the forehead because that will take away the roundness of the face so just kind of cutting that off with the fringe you can see how that softens that and then the width of the shape of the haircut and then it tucks and goes just below the chin uh, this is something that i think you guys will notice as we go through these round face shapes um, the haircut that is right below the chin on a round face works really really well and you can see how adding length to somebody with a round face can actually make their face look a lot smaller and more round so you can see on the left hand side having that haircut just below the jaw kind of stretches the jaw out a little bit it accentuates it it doesn't feel too far away from it and then when you look in the right hand side you see that there's not much layering that's really hitting you have one bit that's hitting at the jaw and then everything else is much longer so it just shrinks the face up uh, and it doesn't look as flattering so uh, these are key things so as soon as you see a client with a rounder face you can take a look here um, you want to add that fringe in cover up the forehead a little bit soften that roundness on the top and then to bring that face out elongate that face a little bit bring the hair just below the jawline whether that's with a layer or with the length. You can see even in this example, she's got a fringe that comes across uh, that cheekbone area, but then it's just long length after that, so it shrinks her face up. Uh, kind of a similar face shape uh, on the right. You could see she has a little bit more layering, a little bit more width to her haircut. So you can see how that brings her face out a little bit. And then she's got those pieces that have a lot of movement right under the chin. So you can see that that kind of elongates her face. Now we move into a heart-shaped face. I really love short haircuts for a heart-shaped face. You can see here kind of a pixie haircut feel, um, nice rounded shape to it. Goes with her head shape really well, but you can see what really kind of made this haircut sing is the fact that it has that fringe and that fringe covers up that kind of boldness of her forehead which would be part of that heart shaped face and kind of takes away from it softens it and almost squares it out a little bit even though the line has a round feel it goes from temple to temple and adds some kind of squared off lines in the haircut so it creates a little bit more of that oval shape on top and then the shorter hair makes that jawline just stand out and pop so here's another version this kind of goes the opposite direction direction where the first one had a fringe that brought the forehead and kind of covered it a little bit. This one is adding volume to stretch the face out. So you're basically creating that oval illusion to the face with the longer jaw and then a higher hairstyle. So still short hair, just going a totally different route. And you can see uh, based on your client, depending on how much forehead they have, you can decide which type of haircut works best for them. Do they need volume or can they go a little bit sleeker and you add a little bit of a bang? And then here, curly hair, love the expansion of the shape um, with a heart-shaped face, um, exposing the forehead a little bit, but still having a curtain fringe in the front, and then that length. I really do like this length, especially with the expansion, so right at that shoulder. The reason length works a little bit better with the heart-shaped face is the elongated chin, so having that length actually shortens the chin up when you have a little bit of extra length in the haircut. So opposite around, you have a little bit more stretched out chin, so you can have a little bit more length in the haircut, which makes that feel a little bit shorter. Now you take a look here, oblongs. When you think about what you would need with an oblong face, somebody with a long 
longer face, you just need to expand it out. That's gonna help make it a little bit more of a rounded look, uh, more oval look to it. So you can see with her hair flat, how long it makes her face look, especially with exposing the forehead. And then when you look at the cut, nice soft curtain fringe, and then the expansion with uh, some layering in there, widens her face out, covers up her forehead and showcases her jawline. So this is a great example of just changing a couple things and getting a great end result. Now we go into square. I love the style of this because um, she does have a really strong jawline. Everything's nice and soft coming around and then that bevel, the bend, uh, right in those layers around the face frame, they come in and they tuck right around her jawline. So it just softens it. So just adding those little pieces, filling in right around this area can really help um, accentuate a squared off jawline. Line. So you can see it here as well. This is expanding the shape out. You can see when the hair is nice and straight, how it kind of elongates the face, nothing wrong with it, but you can see how when you expand the shape out, how it just changes the look and changes the vibe of the haircut. Um, have a nice little curtain fringe in there. Um, this is basically the same haircut, just adding a little bit of layering to it um, and styling it a little bit different. But you can see all those pieces, those layers kind of fill in the gaps in the bottom, soften the jawline, and then the curtain fringe softens the forehead. And then you get a little bit more of an oval shape to the face. So I just want to do a recap. You can see on the screen, we've got the four different face shapes that I like to focus on. So oval, you can pretty much do any haircut on. So we won't even really think about that. When you have triangle here, we talked about a couple different things. How do you work the fringe? Well, if you've got two corners, right? You've got these corners here in the face, that's gonna be the what you wanna soften. So if I add in, let's say a curtain fringe, right? And I'm not this kind of artist, but you guys get the, you can get what I'm talking about here. Curtain fringe. And then it gets sleeker towards the bottom. So just a little bit longer layers in here. And you can have some little pieces flipping out. And again, longer, fringier layers here. And then there it is. So we'll color this in. And again, we talked about shorter hair, longer hair, but you can see how that starts to kind of soften that heart shape on the very top. Now, when we look at round, if I come down here and I just have long hair, right? Long hair cut down here. You can see the amount of space between this area here and that shrinks the face up. So what we wanna do is come in here and add pieces, again, longer pieces here doesn't look like hair, but that's okay. And then squaring off and opening up the face here can be helpful with a fringe. Oops, there we go. So then you can have a fringe, which will square off her face. That hair not being too far away in the length keeps the face um, looking long. And then that fringe being a little more squared off or even doing a curtain fringe can help open up the face a little bit, but also um, take away the roundness of the forehead. And the last one with square, I don't really want to showcase the square jaw. I wanna open that up and kind of show it off that way. So I would do layering kind of off the face, a little more like Farrah Fawcett looking to bring off the face and then maybe even a side fringe or a curtain fringe would be fine, but a side fringe to help soften these corners. So from here and then splitting it there. So you can see you're just taking the corners of those squares and you're erasing them with whatever you're putting into the haircut. So I know you're super impressed by my artistic abilities. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, I hope you guys got a lot out of this um, and understand face shapes a little bit more. It's a key thing to understanding what exact haircut you wanna put on your client. So focus in on this. My challenge to you for day three is every time you have a client come in, maybe mark down what their face shape is. Do a little bit of research about what haircuts fit that face shape and then form your own opinions about it. And then the next time your guest comes in, maybe offer some new knowledge about their face shape and what haircut would work best for them. So now that we've got our scissor techniques and everything put together, we understand how to section the hair and we understand our guest's face shape tomorrow for day four. What we're gonna be going over is understanding haircut shape 
uh, and how we can put that into play with everything that we've learned so far. So get to work on soaking up this information. Can't wait for tomorrow. Look out in your email for day four. I'll see you on the next one.